Hi, I'm Tom Ellis. I'm uh, the inventor of the Tom's Knife Massager. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to show you how easy it is to use this for sharpening your carving tools. One thing you'll notice how quiet it is, you can use this right in a classroom situation or nice and quiet in your home shop. I found some nice safety glasses at Woodcraft the other day that have a bifocal built into them for us old people that need to have bifocal glasses. I'm uh, just going to show you how easy this is. I've got a little diagram showing the problem most people have with their carving knife is it ends up getting a boat shape to it and it gets hard pushing it into the wood. What we want to do is re-grind down to the original grind that the tool had about a 24 degree angle. You'll see over on this side it is about the ultimate angle that you would like on your carving tools. And that goes for all of them, the gouge, V tool, everything. What we do is just lay your knife down on it. It's a 1200 grit diamond stone. Get your knife down on it. Lift the back about the thickness of a dime, which is pretty close to establishing your 24 degree, or it would be about a 12 degree angle. You do that on both sides, you'll have a 24 degree. Put my fingers on the knife to hold it down flat on the diamond. Just let the diamond do the work. You watch, um, you can see your fresh grind as you're grinding as long as you've got a shine going along your cutting edge. You haven't gotten all the way down to a zero grind. So just keep going. Try to maintain the same angle. Just Kind of lock your wrist in position, hold your pressure on your knife. You'll start seeing the wire edge start to build up along the edge of your knife. When you got your grind all the way down, just reverse the machine. Put her down, lift up your about the thickness of a dime to get your 12 degrees. This knife wasn't in real bad shape, so it won't take long to get this fresh grind on here. It just takes a little longer if your tool is in worse shape. Check your grind. Got a good flat grind all the way to the edge. Then I go over to my leather strop. I like using the Tormek PA70 compound for the stropping compound. Pushing up your strop with a little, few little spots. I use my knife blade to just very lightly start spreading this out. Get a good coat on the strop. And put your pressure on your blade and just let the leather do the work. doesn't take too long when you're on a 1200 grit wheel it's not a very coarse grind so it polishes that out pretty quickly back and forth a few times you'll end up uh, your wire edge will be broken off and everything will be down ready to carve I use the diamond dry too, and every so often while you're carving, just take a paper towel. I like these little blue cloth shop towels. The black is the metal coming off your blade, so just clean your disc off every once in a while. You can start feel the grit uh, when it starts building up. Also, if you want to go to a coarser wheel, you can get these from probably 80 grit clear on up to 3,000. I've cut an oct or a hexagon hole in here. So it just slips over the nut, so I can have myself a coarse wheel, then go down to the 1200, lift the wheel off and go to my leather strop. I can also do these with a longer shaft, where you can use the power strop type of leathers. So you have a V-tool stropping leather. One could uh, curve this over so it would fit a gouge too, or a depression in it. I pretty much just do my gouges right on the flat leather.
good shape on that 